Hi, in our first uh, video, we have seen that how we can use map with array of MongoDB. Now we will see how we can use filter uh, with MongoDB array. So first of all, we will have to know what actually filter is and what it job is. So um, filter is a function. It is used in functional programming language to filter out the um, elements from arrays um those are desired by us so and it excludes the function what we do not want so what we write in uh, we just uh, use a boolean expression in filter uh, which just just will just try to match match um, our desired element so if we go through uh, in the documentation we will see that it is similar to map but it has different thing that is a condition which means based on this condition it will try to create our desired error so um, if we go through this um fields again that we, i want to uh, i will say the what are they are you doing that is input what the work of input is that uh, we will have to declare you know, we will have to actually reference the field field array i mean which is an array of the document which is the error of the document we are trying to use here for the filtering so we will use the field uh, error field here and what is this as in as we will declare a variable which will represent represent each element of that um array field and condition we will write condition which is an expression which returns an expression which means that we will write her a um, we will write her a boolean thing, a boolean arithmetic, which will try to match our desired um, try to match our desired result, uh, desired element, uh, try to match our desired element, which will be returned. So what we will do here, we will write here our filter. If you look at her. Uh, and um, uh, if you look at this array element, we we, uh, we we see that there is two types of elements. One is even, and another one is odd types. So uh, what we will do, we will try to uh, filter out. We will try to just filter out the uh, filter out the even elements, and we will create just an uh, we will create an array which will just carry the even. Uh, numbers so um, what we will do we can write here the name we can give the project same thing we will do just i am using this map here so we can write this we can name these new array names now we can give anything but we have we as it will just carry the even even element so we, will, we can give this name even array even array so this is the array name. Now we will do our arithmetic jobs in MongoDB. So what it will do, it will just write filtering. So we are going to filtering here. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So we will have to uh, tell the filter, tell the filter of which field array field we are going to use i mean which array field of the document we are going to use in this document where in this document there is uh, there's only one array field so we were just going to use this error field name we are referencing this and yeah we know that if you want to reference any field name we will have to use dollar sign within what uh, we will just have to use dollar sign okay before the field name and in as we will give the variable name uh, we will give the variable name of uh, which will actually um, represent uh, which will represent uh, all the uh, elements uh, which will represent the element here so we can give anything so we just wrote here the name. so this is condition which is an expression and we will have to keep this in our mind that if we write uh, any calculation 
which is an expression actually which will return a value we will have to write that calculation or expression within a document so we are creating a document here now okay now we will do the calculation here what it will uh, do a boolean uh, boolean uh, uh, arithmetic calculation so what we will do we will just match out the um, elements which are even so what we will say elements which are equal elements which are equal so we are writing element equal aggregate here so element takes true expression which means it is again value which means we can do arithmetic thing or calculation here as it is an expression so what it will be um uh, what we will do that we will just uh divide each element by two and we will and if the remainder of the division is zero then that will be considered as even number so we are going to do this so what will be we will just try to match the remainder remainder of that arithmetic calculation so remainder will be zero will what with the division remainder so we are going to do another uh, arithmetic uh, calculation here so as it is a calculation we know every calculation need to be uh, need to be written under a document so we are creating a document here so what it will be it will we will just find the uh reminder so to do this we will use mod aggregate so if we go to there <coughs> in mod aggregate we will have to keep it in mind it is an uh, the, we will use the mod which is used in aggregate okay there is another mod with the job of that is similar but that is used for um, query uh, with find query but it is this mod is used here in aggregate so this mod takes two value there is two expression so which means if the uh, just it returns the <coughs> reminder by using this so what we are going to do is we are going to write mod which means it will return a value reminder value so uh, mod so it will send uh, return the reminder value what reminder first one is what uh, first one will be first one is for in the number we are going to divide so by what the number we are going to divide is the element so as it is a uh, it is a variable which we declare so we need to functional variable so we need to uh, write with double dollar so element by what we are going to divide this by two so that is all now if we run this i think we will get the result so we are seeing that 24 uh, 14 78 84 90 50 70 and all the even numbers even numbers are we are getting here in even document i think uh, in this video we have been able to learn about filter how we can use filter and we will we have also learned that how we can actually write expression this is very important if you want to work with MongoDB first time so when you will try to learn this you will make find this uh, find this stuff but I think you have learned this okay so next video we will learn about videos so thank you very much till then